So this used to be my life <laughs> until plants took over. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So if you guys haven't noticed behind me are not plants, they're actually sneakers because at one point I was a crazy sneaker guy before I became a crazy plant guy. So in this video, we are going to do a tour of all my sneakers because I know a few of you guys have been asking about it. And if you happen to be a sneaker head and you landed on my channel and this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Christian. And normally I do plants on this channel, but there was a point where I was actually doing sneakers on my channel in my earlier video. So if you guys want to check that out, go for it. So what I want to do is give you guys a bit of a quick tour of what's in my collection. I want to start on this side and work our way around. I'm not going to show you guys every single sneaker. I'll definitely touch a bit on some of my favorites. And then I also want to draw some parallel or similarities when it comes to the plant community because I know as crazy plant lovers, there's also a few of you guys who are sneaker lovers and uh, you guys know whenever there's a sneaker that's about to drop and it's hot, you line up or you're out there on your computer, you know, ready to make that purchase and within minutes it's pretty much sold out. Similar thing happens in the plant community, you know, especially when there's a restock that's happening and there's that, you know, war aquinium, that Ethereum that you really want. Um, minutes it's gonna be gone so that is definitely something I noticed uh, when it came to like collecting sneakers and obviously collecting plants now the other thing I would say is similar is you know the pricing you know some of the sneakers I bought at a certain point in time were obviously priced at retail value and then over time you know the resale or the aftermarket value has really gone up especially when you touch a bit on more of the retros like the Jordan 1s or even the 11s now there's definitely a point where I think I had more sneakers than plants I think right now I have about a hundred sneakers at one point I think I got about 250 However, I would normally donate a few at the end of the year to kind of just make room for new ones. But uh, you know, the last time I bought a sneaker was probably like in 2020. Uh, but there was a point where I was buying them every month, uh, twice a month, sometimes three times a month. It really depends on what was dropping that weekend. So without further ado, we'll get started with this sneaker right here. Now, I may forget the name of the sneaker. So for all of you sneaker lovers out there, sneaker heads, don't come at me. Just comment below and correct me because I don't know my sneakers anymore the way I know my plants today. So this one is the Jordan 17 Plus, I think, copper. And I love this silhouette. It has the carbon fiber right here and the um, crocodile leather, which is this black part, the copper plate, the jump man, and then the copper eyelets for the details. Very, very cool looking shoe. Like I said, one of my favorites. And I think I've worn this quite a few times when I did first get it. Uh, there are a few shoes in my sneaker collection that I actually haven't worn, uh, to be quite honest. This one is the Jordan Galaxy. Just clean, white pair of shoes. Love the leather on this. The uh, gum soles, um, very, very casual. I love white shoes, especially during the summers. Um, this is another favorite of mine, which is the Air Force One mid, cool gray. Air Force Ones to me are another classic, it's timeless. Although I saw on TikTok the other day that someone was trying to cancel Air Force Ones. I'm like, come on, you can't. They've been going strong for 20 years. And again, I have a few uh, varieties of um, Air Force Ones that I'm gonna show you guys here shortly. Similar to plants, you know, when you like a particular genus, you want to get all the different varieties. So that's kind of what happens when it came to collecting shoes. Uh, so for example, you have here, um, you know, like I pointed out my Air Force Ones. Here's another one. This one's a retro. I love this one because of the strap. Just gives that retro vibe. Um, you know, the uh, gum soles again, the black. And then this one is the chocolate, another retro Air Force Ones. These are highs. And what I like about this one is the uh, Nike Air um, uh, logo right there. That's uh, very old school, so not the new way of doing it. And um, unworn navy blue mids. So, you know, like Pothos, for example, you need your Marble Queen, you need your Golden Pothos, you need your Manjula, you need your Sweet Blue. I need all the different colors of uh, Air Force Ones. So that is how I was operating back in the day when I was collecting shoes. Um, and yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Up here, I have mostly trainers or running shoes or shoes that I use to work out uh, and train at the gym. And one of my favorites are these Airbax 270s. So very, very cool. This I've worn quite a bit. So I have a black one here. Um, I think I have a blue one. Uh, I have a white one. And I think the ones I'm wearing right now, these are my favorites. So love these. They're so versatile, walking, running, like I said, lifting weights, um, they do everything. Over here, you got a few sneakers that's in wheat color. One of my favorite colors to wear, especially during the fall. And this one is the Air Force One. Again, another classic favorite silhouette of mine. And another favorite sneaker classic that's timeless is the Jordan 1s. But this one's in wheat. Again, very, very cool uh, silhouette. 
This will never go out of style, in my opinion. And if there's a Jordan 1 that's about to drop that I really, really like, it's probably the only shoe I would probably still buy today. Like I said, I haven't bought a shoe since probably 2020. Um, but um, Jordan 1s, I think I will always buy, even if I'm like 80 or 90 years old. So I think this one is, correct me guys, the 6th, Jordan 6. Um, but yeah, it's in wheat and pretty cool. I do like the silhouette. I haven't worn these at all though. Um, and then down here is another um, sought after sneaker. It's the Jordan 11s. I would say this would be similar to, I don't know, like your Monsteras, your Albos, you know, if you ever come across like a, a Jordan Concord, which is the black one, um, those, those really sell up fast and, and the resale market on those ones are pretty good too. But this one's the 7210. So it's the black uh, on black with the red. And uh, I really like this one as well. The only thing with this one is the soles turn yellow quite a bit, uh, but I've worn this one quite a few times. And then this one is the Space Jam. This one was the 2017 release. So it's, I think 2017 or 2018. Um, it has a 45 at the back right here instead of the 23, but uh, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I would say, you know, people go crazy over the 11, especially when it's like the, uh, you know, the red or the, um, <laughs> the Concords. Um, this one here is the Harris Stingray. So I think this came out in 2018, 2019. Uh, but very, very cool shoe. I love this. I love the black soles and then the Stingray leather that has like sparkles on it with the uh, gold details at 23, the Jumpman, and then the tips on the laces. Very, very cool shoe. I love wearing these. I actually, uh, I don't know. They're, they're, they're so cool. Um, and then up here are a few... Jordan 11s in low, so the cherry and the navy. I think these came out at the same time. Um, but I remember lining up for these guys. I think I I think it was at a boutique shop. Or was it was it a foot locker? Maybe it was a foot locker. I don't know. In any event, I think I lined up like the shop opened at 10 and I think I was there at 6 and there was already a lineup. So similar thing happens too when you know there's a pop-up shop, um, you know, when there's one of your favorite nurseries. Uh, you want to just line up and make sure you get a head start of everybody else so you have a chance of getting that plant. Same thing happens in the sneaker community. Um, this is a low Jordan 12. So one of my few 12 sets in low. I think it's the only one I have in low. Um, and then I have a few fours. I like the silhouette of the four. Unfortunately, my favorite one, the cement, I could not get my hands on because that's another shoe that just flies off whenever it drops. But this is the silhouette of the four. I forget what this one is called, but it's black, more like suede material, has the gold uh, eyelets and details. I love the combination of black and blue. So this is another four. I forget what this one is called, but it has the uh, black uh, leather with the um, blue, um, you know, details on it. Um, this is another four, mustard color. And then I got a few, another ones. This one is in the snake style skin leather. I don't know, with the red bottoms. And then I think this one's a two. Is this a two? Yeah, I think this is a two. Classic, simple, clean, um, you know, nothing fancy about it, which I like. Uh, sometimes I just like it really uh, subtle. I think this one is a Jordan 5 metallic. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Has the Nike Air, um, you know, classic logo right there. Unworn, I haven't worn these at all. And then below that, you got a couple more J1s. I got the Bumblebee, um, you know, color combination here, unworn. Um, I got this one. This one I've worn quite a bit. And then one of my favorite um, Jordans uh, retro is the tens uh, this is the nyc so there was a few of these that drop that had like that represented cities this one's the nyc i have a paris one somewhere here i just can't find it i was trying to look for it and i have a charlotte one but i do like this one i love the leather on it kind of just has that um just metallic look to it the nyc there in gold and i really like the soles it has it's black and it has the gold, gold sparkles on it but it also has like accomplishments on it, like for example, 85 Rookie of the Year, you know, in 88, he was dunk champion, 89 all defense, um, you know, scored, you know, uh, 69 points in a game in, in 90 and so on. So a really, really cool uh, silhouette. I do like this one. Um, and then on the bottom shelf, there are a few uh, Timberlands. You gotta have a few Tims in your collection. I have most, I will mostly wear the wheat one. Uh, that's the one that's kind of my go-to. And then I have a black one. 
But I also have this in green and I don't think I've worn this one at all. So I usually rotate between the uh, wheat and the black one. All right guys, so we're gonna go on this shelf and up here you'll see some Jordan 8. I think this one, I forget what this one is called, but another classic. So this is the silhouette of the Jordan 8. Has a 1993 here on the um, tag. I forget what these are called at the back of a shoe. Uh, you got the cool gray. Again, I don't think I've worn any of my eights, to be honest. <laughs> and then you have here the, um, I think this was a champagne. So it came as a champagne trophy um, set, I think. And uh, I did have the black one, but I think I sold that one. I think I sold that one and I, I kept the, these ones. Um, and then you got some Jordan 12s here. So this is what a silhouette of a 12 is. I forget what this one is called. Um, I got a gray one and I think this one's the UNC one. So it has the University of North Carolina color on it. But the most popular 12, I would say is the, uh, if it still is, I don't know, is the uh, flu game. So this is what Jordan wore in 97 when he was feeling sick or had like food poisoning and whatnot. And he still managed to pull through and uh, win that game. But uh, yeah, so this one is a classic. Now, we're gonna go to my favorite. Uh, silhouette ever it is the Jordan ones and like I said right now my favorite genus of plant are Ethereum so I would probably um, you know say that the Jordan ones are kind of the Ethereums of the uh, uh, you know sneaker <laughs> community and whatnot but obviously there's a few you know classic um, colors just simple white with the black Nike swoosh on it very very clean nice so I have a few of these I got a black one of these somewhere um, and then you got you know just plain white and uh but then you start getting to like kind of the retro and you know this is the metallic one uh, i remember when these came out i had to have this pair because like i said i love blue and uh, on this white is very clean but you start getting into these ones this one is the game royal one and i looked up online what the aftermarket value of the shoe now is it's i think around like six seven hundred bucks maybe even eight hundred dollars depending on obviously uh where you're getting it from and the size and how demand is but i love this uh, blue and this white and very very clean but another one to that similar is the bread toe so this is another hot shoe that everyone wants again i think after market value now on these shoes are within that range um, and this one's the royal the black and the blue so i remember when these came out i had to have each and every single one of these uh, so i was really happy that i managed to get them and then this is the one I've worn quite a bit. It's the shadow, I think. So it's the black with the gray. And unfortunately, I wish I got two pairs of these because I do love this color combo. Because like I said, the Jordan ones are my favorite sneakers right now. And I will always uh, buy them. Um, I actually stopped myself from looking online um, to see if there's any Jordan ones that's coming out because I know if I see one, <laughs> I will most likely get it. And then from there, um, my obsession with uh, sneakers might uh, pick up again. And uh, at this point, I really do not have room for both sneakers and plants. I'm trying to see if we can continue to keep both of them, but I'm actually thinking I may need to take a few of this down to just make more room for the plants because some of you guys know that I'm starting a plant shop, so I need space. I only have an 800 square feet condo here in downtown Toronto, so uh, it's not much space, but I wanna see if we can make it work. You know, I, I think I just need to put maybe a couple more greenhouses, maybe on this end and this end and then put my gym equipment in the middle while still keeping uh, these shoes because, uh, you know, I, I don't want to give them up, you know, N not yet anyway. Uh, maybe eventually I will, um, you know, before I die or something, I'll <laughs> donate them, but uh, they're, they're really cool. Now, um, I do have a few of these like uh, other um, shoes from other players. You know, I got like a KD, I think, no, I think I have two KDs. I have this one and I think this one. Yeah, I think there's a KD. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, I have a pair of Kobe's, so <laughs> I have one of these. And, um, and one of my favorite, uh, you know, kind of new basketball shoes that came out um, not probably like a few years ago are uh, PG's, uh, Paul George. And this is his silhouette. And I love this silhouette, to be quite honest, even as like a lifestyle, uh, you know, shoe. It's, it's so cool. Uh, one of my favorites that I ended up getting quite a bit of, of different styles. So I have this one. Um, I have this one, which you guys are probably thinking, well, that looks very similar to the previous one. <laughs> the same thing with plants, you know, some of your partners are probably saying that looks exactly like the previous plant, but they're different. I'm telling you they're different. 
One of my favorite ones from Paul George uh, is this colorway right here. Just a nice black with the um, you know brown or uh, bubblegum sole and uh, really, really cool. And then you have the classic colorway right here with the navy blue and kind of the pacer colors right there. So really, really cool. Another favorite silhouette of mine, I always say like every single <laughs> shoe is a favorite silhouette, but obviously there's a reason why I have them because I do like it, are the uh, Kyrie's. So this is a Kyrie one. So this was his first shoe and it has the uh, Cleveland colorway on it. Um, but I got a couple and I got a black one and then I got this uh, maroon one. But you know, every year they come up with like, you know, Kyrie two or Kyrie threes. And I actually don't remember if this is a two, a three, I think it's a three, I'm not sure, but correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So this is that silhouette. I, this one I love, I really love this one. It's the black with the gold. I think this one was for um, Black History Month uh, one year. And then I like this one, which is the navy blue with the gold, the uh, gum bottoms right there. So really, really cool silhouette. I also got, I think this one, but I haven't worn these ones as well. So, um, and then, I got, I think one of the latest shoes I bought is probably a Kyrie, which is this one. Uh, this one's pretty dope. I like this one, it's fun. And then we got another 12 right here. So this one's a, a good color, right? I like this one as well. I think I've worn this one a few times. And then this is another one of my favorites. Uh, I think this is the three and it has that elephant print, classic look. Love the way this one feels, so comfy. And uh, yeah, one of my favorites for sure. And then I just got a few more uh, runners here. I think I do have a couple LeBron uh, sneakers. So this is a LeBron right here. This one's in black. I think I got a white one like this. And then another LeBron right here. So I do have a couple of his shoes. Um, one of my favorite uh, training shoes or runners or whatnot is actually came out in 2012. I think this was in 2012 but it is the uh, collab between Nike and Manny Pacquiao. So this is his shoe. It uh, represents the Philippine flag color. So you got the blue, the red, and the yellow, and you got his uh, Manny Pacquiao logo right there. So uh, really, really cool. I love this shoe. I wish I got two of them because, uh, you know, I can't even find them. Um, even, even I think as a resale, I can't even find these shoes. So, and then I got a couple of Air Force Ones in low. So I got a red one right here and I got this black one. See the, Man, some of these are dirty. I really do need to clean them because, you know, that's, another, that's one thing. I don't think I take care of them as much. They're just pretty much collecting dust here. Uh, so I should probably spend some time dusting them off and uh, just putting some, uh, you know, protective spray on it just to make sure they uh, at least maintain a good condition. And again, below those shelves are just a few more uh, runners. Um, I got a few more like uh, Air Max 270s down there. And then up here are just a few more like dress shoes or work shoes. Um, there's a couple of shoes there that I spent quite a bit money on, uh, you know, back in the day when I used to have a lot of disposable cash because of my corporate job. But uh, I don't think I would spend that kind of money again on sneakers. Like I bought here, Loafers by Salvatore, and then I got a Louis Vuitton sneaker right here. So there you guys have it. That is a quick tour of all the sneakers in my collection right now. I do have a few more on my staircase that I use in rotation, you know, when I do step outside. But hopefully we can wear a few more of these, you know, when the world or when the city starts opening up again and we can step out into the world. Uh, comment below and let me know if you're more of a sneaker head or you're more of a plant person or maybe you're both or maybe you want to get into the others. It is pretty fun nonetheless and I hope I can keep both of them together for however long I can. But we're going to have to make some sacrifices because I do need to make room for not only my workout gear because I did also flip this into a gym and now we need to make more room for the plants so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you guys in the next one peace